today I'm going to be taking you through a, an overview of the Procreate app. Video primarily is for people who want to start using Procreate and don't know how to navigate. I'm going to be talking about this in the way that I explained my mom because I was teaching her Procreate when she got her iPad. Okay, let's get started. Now adjustments is what you do to your um, drawing. So for example, if I've made a, let's choose a random brush. Tinder box, okay, right, that's what I'm doing is by the way, uh, shape, when I put my finger it forces it to be a circle, so like if I, I can't draw a circle, but if I hold the pencil, it makes it into an oval, if I put my finger here, it makes it into a circle, that's called quick shape, okay, then if you drag this color into this box, it fills it, drag this color into this box it fits it okay now what happens is hue and saturation in this magic wand this literally is the magic wand all the cool stuff you can do hue and saturation is when you change the hue and saturation of your illustration saturation makes it brighter or light or duller this makes it bright or not bright so like I've just changed the color into pink from red in this okay color balance similar you can kind of play around with this in your final drawing and then color balance curves curves is if you're you can change it through curves it's a little more fine-tuning in terms of color correction gradient map would give you a idea of the gradient so you can put your different levels of gradient that you want and all that again advanced uh, eventually you'll come to this but this is basically to beautify whatever artwork you've done Gaussian blur is basically you you click on Gaussian blur and then you put your pencil and slide it and it blurs your illustration right is very blurry and left is not blurry at all okay uh, motion blur is again take click on motion blur and then it blurs it in a motion form so up, down, this comes in handy with like when you want to draw water or you want to draw some animation. Perspective blur is you choose where you want the perspective to blur and then you, so it only blurs this part and this part where, see, it's pretty cool. So eventually you can play around with these things, noise will create a noise in your drawings then sharpen will sharpen it bloom will bloom it I don't know what bloom is I actually haven't used bloom glitch will create glitches again I haven't used glitch but this is just to half tone will give you like a half tone effect then chromatic aberration is really cool it, it kind of gives you like it looks very um, Riso ink type of look it's quite creative um, and this is just a way to make your work more creative and liquify is similar to the uh, Photoshop liquify but it's basically to oui, sorry liquify will to kind of you can manipulate your shape to where you want it to and if you don't like it you can reset it okay reset it this is push twirl it's pretty cool i really like liquify i don't use it that much but you can choose points for your twirl and this is for like when you want to be super creative twirl left for twirl right pinch is when you you put your pencil and it pinches it so comes in handy it looks really nice with this effect expand is when you want to expand the same thing crystal is I don't, know how to it. I don't know something like that edge is I think you move the edge reconstruct is I think an undo yeah it's reconstruct is basically getting back to so whatever you do you it comes back to what it was reconstruct 
adjust is the amount that you allow and reset is resetting everything to what it was liquify is a nice tool to play around with clone is also quite good so clone is basically like um, if I have a little if I want to copy this right then I'll if I want to draw the same thing here then I'll whatever wherever I draw it will copy that so it comes in handy when you want detailed work done and stuff so yeah clone is nice okay so this is your magic wand with all the cool things you can do with um, your illustration this ribbon I mean I don't know the technical term I'm calling it ribbon this is also very handy here if you go down you have automatic and then you have freehand rectangle and ellipse so this is generally what you would call the select button so automatic would select a big chunk right whereas freehand you would be able to select like create a shape with the free hand and then you could um, remove the selection or whatever and then and then rectangle is a rectangle selection ellipse is an ellipse selection now for example I've selected that if I go here and say clear then it clears what I've selected which I don't want so so that's there. If you want to make multiple selections, you select something and then you say add and then it allows you to make multiple selections. Okay. I haven't successfully had the remove thing yet, but I presume that's what remove is for. Invert is whatever you've selected will become the, uh, like it'll be inverted. So everything will be clear. So this comes in handy when, for example, if you want to, just isolate this and not the, what is outside so that is there then copy paste you know Cop copy paste is when you want to copy something and paste it feather is like okay so calvin um if you if you're new to procreate then you must watch calvin's videos so uh, calvin does a lot of um work with this tool so for example he'll freehand and if he wants to create like a gradient effect, he'll feather it out. So you kind of extend it. And then if you want to, he goes to hue and saturation and then he changes it. But because he feathered it out, the transition is not so sharp. It's kind of blended. Okay, so that's, oh, this looks nice. So that's what feather is, that you feather it out so it doesn't, the cuts don't look sharp. Similarly, if I want to do the same thing, but I don't feather it, right this is how it would look see now here it's smoother and it's merging into the details around whereas this there's a very fine line between this and this so that's why uh, feathering gives it a very nice seamless effect um, I really highly recommend you checking out his classes because uh, tutorials because he's amazing Mm, then what else color fill is if I've drawn a if I've selected a rectangle this will automatically color fill it if I select a if color fill is selected sometimes you don't want to select color uh, color fill it so you just remove that normally I remove it and clear is basically just clear okay a move uh, the move tool is basically if you want to uniform would be uniformly move it Free form will be free form move it. This is I'm still in. free form will be if I want to change the form. Uh, distort will be distort is quite fun. You can distort into whatever direction you'd like. And warp is like like really crazy if you want to warp that. Reset will reset it. It's similar to liquify but not actually it's more organized that way so it's you can change shapes and really warp things <laughs> advanced mesh would be an advanced warp where you get points so it's more uh, controlled in terms of your warping uh, flip horizontal flip vertical rotate 
45 degrees fit into canvas which it already is but if it wasn't you see fit into canvas and it fits into canvas I have not got into this but it is I think when you have multiple layers and you do this but I don't know this um, okay so that's about it about in this section so we are done with this section now we're going to move into this section okay so this is your brush 